Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. I'm jumping into the Stanley Parable today, partially because I've wanted to ever since it was a mod. Um, I actually planned to bring this on Steven Plays December 2011, never got around to it, and uh, Mallory recently played through it, liked it so much that she wanted me to do the game so I could experience it, and she also wanted to be here with me, so she is here with me today. Yeah, I thought you'd, I'd show you some of my favorite parts. So, we're both going to be going through the Stanley Parable. Now, if you're not familiar with this game, then me and you are in the same boat, but from what I understand, this is kind of a game that you have to experience yourself, and if you watch this video with any plans to play the Stanley Parable, the experience is kind of ruined, is it yes, not? Yes, I would agree with that. All right, so this is kind of your your upfront warning. If at any point in your life <laughs> you plan on playing and experiencing the Stanley Parable for yourself, then by all means stop watching. Uh, there will be a link in the description where you can go to Steam and get the game yourself and play through it. But if you've already played through the Stanley Parable and you just want to see my reaction to it, when, in which case you're just like Mal, um, <laughs> or <laughs> if... Uh, if you just have no plans on playing through the game yourself and just want to watch a playthrough, then by all means, let's continue. So I've set all the options up. Um, I really have no idea what this game is about, although I really like the effect of the computer screen over here. In the screen, in the screen. Yeah, it's kind of neat. All right, begin the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. That's eerie. Stanley was happy. Okay. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. And I can play now. Interesting. I wonder if the time has anything to do with it. 11.25-ish? Ish. Ish? Huh. Um, now, one of, the, one of the big things about this game that Matt was telling me about is that there are multiple endings. There's about 13 or so. That's a lot of endings. All right. So let me... Uh, Turn the horse around here. Can I go in here? Can't open these doors up. Poor employee 427. And now his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. It's almost, it, it's, Mao actually told me that the game could be over in mere minutes, or it could take hours, depending on the ending you're going yes. for, so that's really awkward. Also, it's weird because the narrator is telling me what to do, which is kind of... Also weird? Also, it's almost like I could disobey the narrator, but anyway, the meeting room. I'm going to look for them. I'm going to obey the narrator. I'm letting Steven play through and find his own ending first to experience it, by the way. Yeah, and all these doors are locked, so I'm just moving on. I hate Mondays! Got the case of the Mondays, everybody. Down the hallway. Huh. Ah, can't open any of this crap. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> this is... 
I'm starting to get this. Are you? Well, it just in the sense of I'm being told what to do. Yes. But I can break the cycle as well. But I did enter the door on my left, sure. Huh. Interesting. And there's nothing here. Yet you there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. <laughs> the future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. I like it whenever they take the time to write little things like I this. I love the slideshow. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide is a slick blue gra- Aw. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. To do, synergize core value expenditures. Shift global market parad parad paradigm. Paradigm. Number of slides on this slide. Charts, slides, charts, and slides. This is great. The humor is is uh, is wonderful. Rate it which charts on the same slide depict the same information. You know who'd get a kick out of this is Paul. <laughs> Our buddy Paul is really into charts and graphs and, and numbers and spreadsheets. He's probably already played it, though. Please, no more <laughs> charts. Please, I'm begging. Stop, <laughs> stop, stop. The Boss Appreciation Minute. On your Boss Appreciation Minute worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Fill out in triplicate and return to your Boss Appreciation Specialist. There's a broom closet. What the? <laughs> Good job opening that door. Thank you. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. But, I mean, you don't know that. What if there was something here? I don't understand. There, there could be something here. There's a broom. It's clearly a There was nothing here. No choice to make, <laughs> no path to follow. Just an <laughs> empty broom closet. Okay. No okay. reason to still be here. <laughs> hey, n listen, narrator. There, there could be... A reason. There could be something... I don't it know. It was baffling that Stanley <laughs> was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> <laughs> are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm <laughs> genuinely confused. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to believe there really is nothing to do. I realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past <laughs> the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Oh my it didn't god. It occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely <laughs> no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. <laughs> have you done this before? Yes! Okay, this is amazing. Maybe <laughs> to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. I don't want to leave! <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and drugs. <laughs> okay, I haven't stayed in the broom closet this long. Oh my god! Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. <laughs> You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's <laughs> nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. <laughs> well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. <laughs> Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? <laughs> the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological <laughs> vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. Oh, so man. that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not <laughs> lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. 
Okay, I think we're actually done. I think so. Okay. Sorry, narrator. Ah, second player. It's good <laughs> to get on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't left the sword in a game in forever. Coming oh. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright, that sounds good. Is this it? This ain't it. No, it's not it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm crying. Executive bathroom. I want to go in there. I want to pee in the golden toilet. The oh, door the shut behind you. All the doors shut behind you. It's kind of creepy. Is there anything on these computers? No. There's a door to my right and a door to my left. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't have... Do you want me to leave? I <laughs> There's no way I could have... No oh, a piano. Stanley just sat around <laughs> twirling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. <laughs> 2845. <laughs> Stanley simply began entering <laughs> random codes into the keypad knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. <laughs> oh my God. But it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with the story. <laughs> well, whoop de do. I did it. He's getting upset at you. Wait, it didn't open. It's not right there. Where's the... Oh, yeah, okay. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you'd talk more. This is my favorite narrator ever. Oh god, it got scary all of a sudden. <laughs> when do I get the gravity gun? Button. Stanley's good at buttons. <laughs> well, this, this is second Stanley. First Stanley's dead. <laughs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. No, not Where really. did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Ooh, spooky. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mind control facility. Creepy. What do we got here? Oh, idea button. It's a light. The lights rose on, on an lights. enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? No. <laughs> I'm just... Can you just fall? <laughs> he did not mm -hmm. have the strength. Alright, let's go this way. And find out what... Camera button! Camera. <laughs> now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The Ooh. lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley... One of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Well, that's kind of bad. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Another button. This button is to eject you into the air. Or 
elevator. This mind yes. control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Get on that elevator. Yeah, no. son. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Maybe. I don't know. But Whoa. here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I would? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I would. I, yes, uh, I think so. Button? And you're not a button. <laughs> Stanley is good at button. Stanley like button. Door. Button. 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 None of these but. Oh, I probably have to turn on the power to make the bu make button work. Button. 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 Mind controls idle while waiting input. Stanley walked over the bridge toward the system power. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yeah. W w wait. Do I want it on or off? Do I want to turn it on to turn off the mind control, or do I want to turn it off to turn it... What do you want to do? I guess I want to turn... Oh, wait, that one's flashing. Oh wait, no, I was just... <laughs> no, that's just Bloom. Alright, I'll turn it off. I did it! What the... It's dark! I turned... I turned off the lights! I can't... Darkness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. I'm chilled. Was it over? How uh, how I uh, know? I can't freaking see. Yes! He had won. I won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. The very giant door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. I was happy. Are you happy? Yeah. Or is it, are you happy because the game told you to be happy? Oh. I don't know. Oh, crap. So that... So I beat it. Yes. So that was the game. Yes. That was a ending. Of 13. Or so, I think. Wow. That's crazy. Um, I'm really interested in seeing what happens to other... Okay. I'm not going to play through an entire other ending. But I'm going to run forward All and just... Co -workers were gone. Yeah, what, what could, could it mean? mean? I'm going to Stanley run through... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. 
Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. He had missed a memo. But what he's going to do is be presented with two doors and go to the right door this time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Because what I did last time was literally follow everything he said. Yes. I want to see how he reacts when I don't. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, I'm going to go admire the employee, which is not here. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I'm going here now. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drink it in. I... Have a cold drink. I would like a drink, actually. But I can't get a drink. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. <laughs> it's funny because there was actually going to be a lot more Lines dialogue there. if I would just wait in there like I did the broom closet. Maybe I should have done that. And then there's two here. First open door on the left, but then you can also go straight. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Where are the balls am? This is crazy. <laughs> so there are 13 different endings. Yeah. That is awesome. All right. I am going to end it here um, because there's still, even if you watched this video um, without in intent of purchasing the game, you just wanted to see what it was all about. Uh, I think now you probably are interested enough to actually uh, maybe purchase the game just because this is crazy. We don't have time to show them all anyway, so I hope that this spurred your interest because off screen I'm probably going to play through this entire freaking game because it was so funny. Um, thank you guys for watching. Mal, thank you for forcing me to You're play welcome. this. You're welcome. I knew you would appreciate the humor. It is really good. It is really freaking good. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a link to this uh, on Steam down below, so if you guys want to check it out, you can. And uh, maybe you guys can play through all of the endings, including one that's apparently four hours. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week for more First 20. Where am I? Do not jump. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. It looks like I got two endings after <laughs> you all. You did.